Week zero of the high school football season kicks off Friday night. And once again, the Blitz on two will be your home for scores and highlights at 11 p.m. on Friday. Now, several new head coaches will make their debuts on Friday evening. At Colleton County, Adam Kinlock returns to his alma mater after eight years on the Whale Branch staff and two years at May River. He takes over a program in need of a rebuild, and Kinlock is relying a bit on past success to change the culture. I'm a 2007 graduate of Collin County High School, played under the legendary, you know, Leroy Raleigh, and I want to still, you know, the tradition and bring it, bring it back, get our kids to understand that we can win and we will win, but we have to get to the basics and we have to work together. Now, several players I spoke to are eager to wipe the slate clean, forget about recent struggles, including last year's one and nine season. The Cougars are embracing the chance for a fresh start. We're just looking for like to put everything behind us. We're gonna say we're gonna make this season. We're gonna try to be our best season in, that we've had, and we're gonna make make so we forget everything I had and just you know new beginnings. How important is it to believe that things are going to be better? How do you flip that around mentally, right? You just got to stay locked in. You got to do everything. You got to just be mentally locked, and we, it'll be a better outcome. It is week zero of the high school football season, and we continue to take a closer look at teams around the low country. Now, during our 5 o'clock hour, we focused on Colleton County. Now, we check out Military Magnet. Head coach Darrell Pringle has about 10 returning players from last year's 2-9 and nine team, so this is a very young group that will have to learn on the fly. Quarterback Robert Perrineau is one of the few seniors. Robert told me the upperclassmen have to coach up the youngsters. It would just be mini versions of coach, really, because we're just trying to, because last year we had like 17 to 20 seniors, so we could be a little bit more like, you know, on them and like more lenient on them. But now this year we have to, instead of yelling or trying to enforce, we just have to help coach them up, you know, and encourage them. Keep it simple uh, so they can play fast, be confident, and really just build a confidence. I mean, we lost a lot of guys, but I feel good about the young guys. I think we can be better when they become seniors. So it's mostly about just um, keeping the simple form and building that confidence. So throughout the season, just get better and better each week. 